When I took the call over, there was a soft-spoken, calm gentleman on the other end. He told me that there's three people that have taken over the flight. At that point, I asked him his name. He told me Todd Beamer. He was from Cranberry, New Jersey. Did you make a conscious decision not to tell Todd about the World Trade Center? Why? Yes. Because um, I wanted him to have hope. I wanted him to think that he still had a chance. I didn't want him to feel like it was just totally hopeless and he definitely didn't have a choice and he knew he was going to die. I didn't want him to have that feeling. When he wanted to pray, was your sense then that, that he knew that... Yes, I did. I felt that he knew at that time because he had said, oh, Jesus, help us. And then he said, Lisa, would you recite the Lord's Prayer with me? And I knew that he knew at that time that it wasn't much left for him to do. What do you think that um, this country needs to know about the men and women who were on board Flight 93? They're all heroes in my eyes. They really are. They all pitched together, and they did what they thought was the best thing to do at that time. And um, I feel that Todd played a great role in that because when he told the guys, are you ready, I assumed that they were waiting on his cue. Then they responded to him, and he said, okay, let's roll. And would you please help me welcome his wife, Lisa Beamer, here tonight. She called me that Saturday morning. I told her, I said, you have two boys, David and Andrew. She said, yes, yes, I do. I said, you're expecting your third child? She said, yes, he told you all of that. I said, yes, he did. And he wanted me to let you know that he loved you and his family very much. And I gave her a message and kept my promise.